welcome to my tutorial on how to make art pendants from your own artwork. You're going to need a cereal box, your own artwork, some glaze, some white glue, a flexible thin birthday cake candle, some 1mm rolled elastic and some acrylic paint. You'll also need a toilet roll tube to bend the form over, brushes for glue, paint and glaze, a large oval shaped punch, a heat gun, some paper towels to wipe your hands and a jar of clean water to wash brushes and some sandpaper. Oh and you will also need some thin but strong flexible paper to form the back of the pendant. So this is the cereal box that I used, it's fairly heavy duty um, card and will layer well. First of all you punch out three oval shapes. Once you've cut out your three shapes, you need to take the sandpaper and rough up all the smooth surfaces on, on the printed side, otherwise they won't stick together very well, so just rough them up. Then you take your white glue and you start to layer your shapes together. Now you can see here that I've actually got a lot more than three shapes and that's because I made several pendants at once but you only need three layers of card per pendant. So just put a good coat of glue on each um, shape uh, and just keep pinching them together all over and keep them even all around the edges and just keep on doing that until you've, you've layered up all three pieces of card. As the glue dries, the, the pieces of card will gradually stop sliding against each other. Um, you can see here that I'm only showing you the, the plain side of the card. But actually, as, I, as, I, as I'm layering them together, the sanded sides are downwards. So once you've done that, while the glue is still um, damp in, inside the layers, you take your toilet roll holder and sorry your toilet roll tube and press the form the layered form of, of shapes press them onto the cardboard tube so that it curves very slightly now keep on doing that keep keep pushing and molding and as the glue begins to dry this white glue doesn't take too long to dry it will gradually bend and take on the shape of the tube so you've got this lovely curved pendant shape I've got to say at the start of this film that you also need some more flexible paper for the back to make the back of the pendant and you'll see why it needs to be flexible soon now I've used some old paper that I got some in handmade Indian paper that's very flexible but it's also very strong you wouldn't be able to use copier paper for this you you do need some kind of scrap paper or or paper like I've used here um, to make three oval shapes to form the back now these really do need to be flexible and you can't use card so you cut three flexible shapes like this and then what you're going to do next is use the flexible candle to form the channel that goes through the back of the pendant where you're going to thread your one millimeter elastic now these candles are available in shops I believe I got these ones in the UK in a shop called Tiger um, you can probably get them online but they're they work because obviously they're made of wax and you can the idea is to put put this wax strip along the back mold the paper over it and then once the paper has dried on the back you melt the wax out and that leaves you with your channel okay so you cut your your wax to length and just size it up on the back 
Once you've done that, put a thin layer of white glue on the back of the pendant and then push your wax down onto the glue. Th this bit is quite tricky and it does take some manipulation but you, you can do it. It's you just have to push it around a bit and keep moulding and pushing and sticking until the glue begins to dry and then you'll find that everything does stay in place. Okay, so here I have put on my first layer on the back of the pendant and you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just moulding and, and pushing you push the paper into the wax, use your thumbnails to get a good a good crease in there and then you just basically keep on um, using your, your thumbs and fingers to mould this paper and, and you can see why you need a, a very flexible strong paper like I've used here. As I said, I use handmade Indian paper, um, which obviously isn't strictly junk, but um, you know, if you've got paper left over from another project, then I would recommend using that. Carry on doing this until you've put all three layers on and let it thoroughly dry. And then once you've done that, take your heat gun and gently melt the wax with the heat gun. It doesn't take too long and you'll see when the, when, the, when the wax begins to soften and you just do that and then when you think it's soft enough just very gently pull that candle out and there you go you have your your channel where your one millimeter elastic will eventually go What I do with mine is I get a piece of uh, beading wire and bend it over and then just push it through the channel to make sure that there's no pieces of wick left in there. Uh, just sort of tidy it up a bit, make sure that it's you've got a clear channel through there. <clears throat> just keep on pushing through until you're happy that it's all clear. Then take your sandpaper and because this form is now very solid, because it's all dry and the glue, the glue will make it very strong and solid, take your sandpaper and smooth off <coughs> all the rough edges and just keep on sanding until you're quite happy that with, you know with the way it looks. Just sand around the, the edges where the hole goes through and you'll find that that will sand down very nicely any layers that weren't quite in line once that's done you can start to paint the back of the pendant and you can see I've put a couple of layers on here already I use metallic acrylic paint and I've chosen to use midnight blue here just paint that on and let it dry between each layer and um, here I have got two pendants ready. Now this is where using your artwork comes in. I have punched out two um, pieces of my own artwork. This is from an A4 painting that I did and I've gone through and chosen a couple of uh, the ni nice areas from the painting and I am now sticking them onto my uh, cardboard form and this is really the whole basis for the pendant I mean you can really use any anything on the front here that you want but you know the whole point is is to make art pendants and the fun really is in creating painting I mean I have a whole drawer full a huge drawer full of my artwork which has never been framed I'm never going to do anything with so these pendants are a really nice way to actually wear your artwork 
and if anybody wants me to do a tutorial on how I create my artwork let me know if you go onto my website which is www.buncraftstodoathome.com and let me know. Now this is the pendant made with my artwork. It's dry now but I haven't glazed it. Now at the start of the movie I think I showed you some glaze um, <clears throat> I may have been in Nita's, I'm, I'm not sure but what I used here for this was triple thick which is a fantastic gloss medium and you can see here the difference between the one that I have glazed and the one that I haven't. It does make the pendant really strong as you can see here it's very very solid it's a combination of the white glue the three layers of card and the triple thick it makes a very very durable um, piece of jewellery triple thick as you can see here it's brilliant brush on glaze and I only have one layer on here and that's all you need um, and again can see here one is glazed and one isn't and there is a huge difference and you must use some kind of glaze because otherwise it won't um, you know if you've got water on it, it wouldn't be good so I glaze mine on the front then as you can see here I take a very small brush and glaze around the edge just to seal around the edges there where all the layers are and also around the uh, hole, the hole for the channel where the elastic goes through the back you don't have to use elastic you could use a piece of thin leather thong that's quite nice as well I just I like to use one millimeter elastic in most of my projects because it's easy just to tie up and pull over your head so just make sure that the whole thing is sealed on the front the edges and then eventually on the back okay you can see there how the, the triple thick kind of just finishes off the edges really nicely and there is the finished pendant nice and shiny and strong as I said before you can put more than one layer on if you want to um, the more layers you put on obviously the, the more durable the pendant is but they do look really attractive once they're, they're finished and hanging around your neck they look really really nice the way they catch the light and you know you can use any piece of artwork to, to create this any even a photograph you could use as long as you do it on glossy paper and once again here you can see the difference you can see the very matte finish of the unglazed one I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please visit me at my website which you will find at the end of this film thanks for watching bye